Your Classical Storytime is supported by Minnesota Neuropsychology, dedicated to helping build a future where neurodiverse learners are empowered to use their strengths and overcome learning challenges. You can visit fallinlovewithyourbrain.com to schedule your evaluation. Welcome to Your Classical Storytime. I'm Andrea. Today's story is adapted from a book called The Little Squirrel Who Worried by author and illustrator Katie O'Donoghue, who's an accredited art psychotherapist from Ireland. It features music by John Field. There once was a little red squirrel who lived high up in a tree. Little squirrel loved being cozy and warm in his hole, but he knew that soon he would have to venture down below to the forest floor and start collecting acorns for the long, cold winter ahead. Yeah, well, I don't want to. Even though all the other squirrels in the trees around him were busy collecting their acorns, he hadn't left his tree since last autumn. Well, I like it here. Little Squirrel was worried about leaving his safe, warm, cozy home. Kind of worried. What and who would be down there? This is what I'm saying. A few times a day, he would pop his head out and look around, but he couldn't bring himself to leave. Staying right here. Little Squirrel's friends in the forest wanted to help him. Tiny Wren, Snuffly Hedgehog, Grey Rabbit, and Mr. Fox all had kind words of support for him and confessed that they sometimes got scared by things too. You kidding? Sure. Totally normal. I've been there, man. Finally, he came to Old Badger, who was actually a little grumpy at first. But when Little Squirrel explained that he'd been learning about worries, thoughts, and feelings, Old Badger pondered his words. He is a very little squirrel, thought Old Badger. And look how nervous he is with his twitchy tail. I think helping him to relax would be a very good thing indeed. Okay, little squirrel, I can see you are a bit twitchy, so I think my skills may be very helpful. And with that, Old Badger began giving Little Squirrel some instructions to follow. And they were the kind of instructions that you can follow too, anytime you're feeling scared or nervous about something. Now, I'm going to ask you to relax, he said. And then I will say some things that will help you create a picture in your mind. I'm also going to ask you to relax different parts of your body. Knowing how to relax can help you cope with worried thoughts and feelings. First, make yourself as comfortable as you can get, Badger instructed Squirrel. Take a few deep breaths and then close your eyes. Wiggle around a little bit and make sure you are comfy. Now, take a few more deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. That's it, Badger continued. You are feeling calm. Keep breathing big, relaxed breaths in and out. You are becoming more and more relaxed and peaceful. Now, with your eyes closed, pretend that you are in a cozy, soft nest on a beautiful day with warm sunshine glowing all around you. You are lying peacefully in that cozy nest. You feel safe and supported by the nest around you. As I count from one to three, imagine that you are sinking deeper and deeper into that cozy nest, so that the nest is all around you. One, two, three. You are enjoying feeling warm and safe in the nest. Now, notice your paws, how relaxed they feel. 
notice your legs. All the muscles in your legs are light and relaxed. Notice your arms. Notice your neck. Notice your head. Now you are totally relaxed and cozy in the soft nest. Remember that you can return to your very own nest whenever you feel like you need to calm down and relax. Now we are getting ready to leave the nest. We will leave on the count of three. One, two, three. Open your eyes and stretch a little. <sighs> wow, said Little Squirrel. I feel so calm, safe, and relaxed. Now I can do this whenever I feel worried. Thank you so much, Old Badger. Old Badger smiled at Little Squirrel. You're very welcome, Little Squirrel. And now I think it's time for me to head back to bed. Remember, if you ever need me, you know where I am. It was getting quite late, so after waving goodbye to his friend, Bye. Little Squirrel hurriedly leapt across the forest floor and back towards his tree. As he scurried up the familiar tree and curled up in his warm and cozy home, mm. Little Squirrel realized he felt much better. Mm. He had learned new skills and made new friends who could help him if he began to worry. And with that, he closed his eyes and dreamt of happy days to come with his new friends down on the forest floor. The End Thanks for listening to your classical story time from APM. Special thanks to author Katie O'Donoghue and publisher Gill Books. You can find The Little Squirrel Who Worried at gillbooks.ie and explore the rest of the Storytime Library at yourclassical.org.